Hello viewers and welcome back to cooking and DIY now today I'm gonna show you how to cook some delicious curry mutton Jamaican style if this is your first time watching any of my videos I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss the next video when it's uploaded also give me a like and leave a positive comment now let's go straight into the video this is my mutton i'm going to prepare it i'm going to season it and leave it to marinate for at least two days as i always say the the quality of your meal is in the preparation so i've already pre-washed this um this meat already and um i've had to add it i've added some vinegar and just gonna wash it with the next wash again very important that you wash you know your meat um because these things you know they have bacteria and stuff like that so I've, like I said I've pre-washed it already and I'm just gonna give it an next rinse off so now that this meat has been washed I'm happy with it but what I need to do is get rid of some of the excess liquid from it so I'm just gonna use this clean paper towel and just to stop up some of the moisture from the meat right so this is some jerk seasoning this is dry jerk seasoning so I'm gonna have some dry jerk seasoning in yeah, jerk seasoning paste I'm gonna add some of this as well this is a jerk seasoning paste this jar here is some green seasoning paste so this is homemade this is what I have made and I've always used it along with other seasoning to season my meat good quality so this is the green jerk seasoning paste I'm adding now here is some ground ginger smoked paprika love to cook with smoked paprika and this is some steak seasoning um, yeah I'm just adding a small amount of steak seasoning to this as well olive oil to this as well is finished I'm just gonna cover this with some clean film wrap it up nice put it back in the fridge and like I said maybe in the next two or three days before I cook this it has been a couple days since I've seasoned a mutton here is it all wrapped up just take just um, taking it from the fridge um, so the other stuff that I'm gonna use in this delicious curry mutton recipe of course the curry this is a leek I have some potatoes, yellow and red pointed pepper. I have a green and red bell pepper. I have some spring onions here. I have some onions, some fresh thyme, some carrots, and of course, scotch bonnet pepper. I'm gonna start cooking and add some olive oil. Not a lot in this pan. This is some chopped onions. So I'm gonna add this to the oil as well. So now that the onion is in frying and it's changing colour, I'm going to add the curry. You don't want to add too much, just sufficient. And then I'm going to allow this to start to fry as well. I'm happy with this now. This is the, the mutton that has been seasoned and left to marinate for the last few days. So I'm just going to add this in, right in the pot. So this is the pan that I will, I've, I've seasoned the mutton in. So I've added a bit of water in it just to get all these little ingredients that are left and I'm just gonna add this in the pot as well turn the hob down low and I'm gonna add the lid to the pot and I'm just gonna allow this to slow cook for the time being This is all my vegetables except the potato 
and Kiara, which I'll add to the pot later once the meat starts to get tenderized. So shortly I'll be adding this into the pot with the with the mutton. It's about an hour since I started cooking this delicious curry mutton and the vegetables that I was cutting up earlier, I'm gonna add it to the pot. So here we go. This mutton has been cooking now for about two hours. The meat is now getting tenderized. This is some carrots and potato I'm gonna add in as well. This looks absolutely lovely. Finally, this cast bonnet pepper, I'm just going to put it right on the top. It's very hot, so I don't want to get it burst. And I'm going to put back the lid. I'm just going to leave this for about an next 30 minutes, and this will be ready. Look at how thick the gravy is. Wow. I like this. It's nice when you know you have a plan and it comes to fruition. This looks absolutely yummy. So this is the finished product. Just gonna have a taste. Look at how tender the meat is. I don't even need to use the fork. I'm just gonna have a taste. Just gonna have a taste. Mm. Wow. This is absolutely delicious. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support. Please remember, leave a positive comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. Goodbye. Mm.